Hi everyone, it's Russell Lowe speaking and in this uh, series of tutorials I'm going to introduce what I call uh, 2.5D modeling which is essentially modeling two-dimensional components and assembling them uh, into three-dimensional objects. Uh, so we're using uh, Fusion 360 which is an Autodesk product. This is the educational license uh, which is free for all students to use uh, and uh, let's open up a project. So if I go file open there, you can see there's a whole range of projects here. Uh, this is the, these are the ones that I'm going to look at today, but you can see I've got, uh, the truth is a uh, race bike that I've been working on. So some uh, parts there. Uh, what else? We've got uh, beginners projects. Uh, I've got orthographic objects. These are the objects I used to create uh, the two dimensional drawings that uh, we used for uh, teaching third angle and first angle orthographic. Uh, but let's go back to here and open up uh, this particular project. Oh, this particular, I guess, part in the project. And you can see I've got uh, some uh, a little box looking thing. If I hold down shift and middle mouse button, I can sort of spin it around. Uh, I can also spin it around using uh, the view cube here. If you click and drag the view cube, you can sort of spin things around, but I find it easier to hold shift and, and just spin it around like this. Uh, a few things to note here. You can see a toolbar up the top here. It's quite simple. There's create a whole lot of things that you can create here. Uh, we'll start by creating new components uh, most of the time. Now, one thing to keep in mind with Fusion 360 is uh, as, a, as a 3D modeling software, is that you uh, should think about uh, creating parts to build uh, the actual object. So if you you think about 3D modeling, you might think about creating shapes and uh, that might kind of look like a, a uh, abstract version of what it is that you're designing. Well, in Fusion 360, you should think about designing the actual thing at one-to-one. -one. So if you want to make a box out of parts, you don't make a shape and then make little edges and things that make it look like it all comes to, uh, it all splits apart. You actually make a bunch of different parts that plug together into a whole. Now, a couple of other things to notice about uh, the interface so far is look at all of these parts down here, these, this sort of list you see here, which is the same as this list across the bottom. So this is in text uh, labels, and these are sort of icons for different things that are happening. This is like uh, what they call a feature tree, or it's, it's basically history. And I'm in the middle of it at the moment. You can see there's a whole bunch of other things going down here. So what I'll do is I'll grab my timeline. I think that's what you call it, the timeline or the cursor or whatever. And I'm going to bring it down to here. And you can see what's happened is all of these things here are about grabbing the parts of that object and lining them up or laying them out flat. And that's so, you can do this in an automated way, but uh, I'm going to show you how to do it in a pretty straightforward sort of, or, and manual sort of shift and, and copy and place things. Uh, but once you've got this, let's go into top view. Now you've got 2D looking shapes that you can uh, make a drawing out of, that you can send to a machine like a laser cutter and it can cut these shapes out and I've what's uh, done what's called nested them I've actually sort of arranged them so they take up less room so I don't waste as much space I could have just lined them all up in a row but I really want them to tuck into each other with a little bit of space between so I can uh, waste less material but if I come back uh, if I come back to say here I'm back to the back to the model again and if we go backwards through the steps you can see I, I'm just taking off taking off parts come back to say here so this was where I was up to after about 10 steps say drag it back to here those are the first few bits I made and come right back to here and that's the first bit that I made so you can, oh, actually, we can, I 
Ah, it's only playing up to where I have the cursor. I haven't done this before, so let's try playing this. Look at that. So it's not happy to move around while I'm doing it, but uh, you can see that what's happening is there's sketches that are being created and then uh, solid objects being created from those sketches. And it's the same thing that happens over and over again. You create a sketch and then once you've created the sketch, you do something with it. So you uh, extrude it or you revolve it or uh, you might modify it after you've done that. Uh, but it's usually the same uh, process over and over again. Find a plane, create a sketch, extrude the sketch and then create a new component and, and do the same thing again. So what I'm going to do is in the next tutorial, I'll go through making uh, sort of two or three of these. I'll make these three. I'll make new versions of them. I won't just do the same as this. I'll make new versions of them. And then, uh, and then you'll see how they sort of plug together. Once you've got that, you'll be able to go through and make all of the different faces on this, uh, on this box you'll be uh, building. So uh, thanks for watching so far and stay tuned for the rest of the videos. Hopefully they're uh, instructive for you and, uh, and you can imagine how you might use this, uh, these skills to create all sorts of different things.